everyone uh, this is our little video on of our trip to well not to at Stratford upon Avon yeah we just survived uh, Storm Kira yeah and we was fortunate enough to have Storm Dennis so we had to hunker way. down for that yeah and the worrying thing about this we was in the canal basin right next to the river so we got potential of some serious flooding, flooding. And this is what unfolded well, I'm sitting in the well deck of uh, Moussa Mayer in Bancroft Basin at the end of the Stratford-upon-Avon Canal. Um, we've had the worst of Storm Dennis, he's blown over I think, but all the rain that he's deposited is now running down the River Avon and it's going to peak early hours of the morning and it could actually flood over into this basin that we're in. Now we're on a flo floating pontoon and you can just, there's pointy finger working, you can just see uh, the risers there so we've got about another foot that these pontoons will float up um, but as I said uh, early hours of the morning the river levels will peak and it could actually f the river could flood over the lock gates and into the basin uh, so I'm now going to walk down to the river and instructed <laughs> by Deb to be careful and not to fall in the river and see if I can get some footage but um, I can uh, I phone cameras are not the best in the dark so uh, let's go down there and have a look. Well bit of good news we can still see pointy finger foxes afloat but still afloat and um, we're still afloat and I think about that's about the best exposure I'm gonna get on this phone but I'm now gonna walk down to the river uh, to see if I can get any more. I don't know whether you can make it out behind me but um, there is the river level and uh, just there is the the basin so there's a couple of feet in it at the moment but as I said the levels are going to rise yeah so the murky water in the basin and then just this side of the lock and there is about a foot in it at the moment Right, I've been gone way too long. Deb will be getting worried, so I'm now gonna make my way back to the boat. And see if I can do it without falling in. Although that probably would make good footage. Yeah, so I don't think, well, <laughs> I'm not a weather expert, but I don't think we've got too much to worry about tonight. I could be wrong. Uh, we'll find out in the morning. Now we've got the river level as inches away from the level of the canal. Well, I don't think the um, river's going to breach. It's a little bit higher than it was when we looked yesterday, but um, it's flowing fast. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think it's uh, flowing very fast. But we shall have to wait and see. Yes. Well, the wind's blowing a hooli, so I don't expect this to pick it up very well. But as you can see, there the river Avon is flooded right up to the edge. And we're just over that other bit in the basin. Hopefully, we're not going to get flooded early hours of the morning. See the extent of the flooding all over there, all the bandstand as well. So the river's raging past. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, uh, it didn't happen to us. Yeah, we're still here, we survived. Yeah, but the devastation across the country was, was awful, yeah, really. Yeah, th things we've seen on the news, and um, we're members of a few um, Facebook narrowboat pages. And the pictures that were being posted on there. Falling trees. Uh, trees um, falling on boats and crushing them, which is why I explained in last week's video why we, want, we wanted to try and be moored in an area away from the prevailing winds. There was 
incidents where boats were being washed um, from their moorings. This happened more on the rivers. Mm. And then you get boats sinking on canals and rivers that are moored up. But as the river, yeah. river water rises, um, your, your mooring chains or your mooring ropes pull tight. That then tips, tips the boat over, water comes on, sinks the boat. And then there's other cases where they've done as they should and left the mooring line slack, but the, the water level has risen that much. It's actually dumped the yeah. boat up onto the towpath or the bank. And as levels then come back down, it comes tumbling in. So it's been a real, real eye opener for, for us. Well, you know? yeah, the, the, I mean, you just have to constantly think safety, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's bad enough when you're actually living on the boats in the storm, but there's lots of boats out there that are, uh, people's leisure boats or they don't live on them full time no. so and then they have to get to them get, quick yeah and constantly monitor and uh, river yeah. and canal levels and the, the devastation itself to the canals i think on the hebel no the calder and hebel canal that's now going to be closed for 12 months because yeah. the river near that uh, burst its banks and it's deposited all the the silt and shingle into that canal and but also the um in and the cat canals themselves um i mean we've even witnessed it here some have breached a little bit yeah. where the it's just been so muddy on the towpath the, it's just been so yeah, wet yeah a lot, a lot of the towpaths at the moment yeah. resemble um the muddy field where the cattle would plow through going to the milking shed yeah. it's absolutely I mean, it's, horrendous. and it has to obviously have a yeah. knock-on effect to the to the banks yeah, doesn't it yeah there was an added bonus for me and, because, and for me, you'll find out. Because, well, say added bonus, the, the water point was underwater because it was just the other side of the lock on the River Avon. So the water point was underwater. So water was a commodity. We was rationing water. Ration. Yeah, so I didn't uh, have to wash. Yeah, he loved that. Um, and we went to the laundrette. We found a little laundrette and um, that, that was awesome. Going into a laundrette with all of your washing and I mean everything I just stripped the boat washed everything dried everything within two hours it was all done it was awesome well we're in Stratford upon Avon in the spark clean laundrette and it is sparkly clean in it and this is the first time I've been in one of these proper laundrettes since I was a kid and I just remember sitting for hours and hours on a bench as a kid in here while uh, mum was doing the laundry so it brings back some nice memories. Yeah, so they've got nine top loading machines, two front loaders, and then two real big front loaders should you uh, wish to do duvets and things. And eight tumble dryers, although two of them are out of order. Yes, because normally on a wash day, what I do is I'll do the washing. Um, Mark will put the the engine on um, for hot water. I, I, no, I normally get in trouble because Deb will rummage through the uh, uh, linen bin and re realise there's only two pairs of pants of mine from the whole week. <laughs> That's I, not I a hand, joke. I hand wash in between. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, um, hang on. Yeah, anyway. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Yeah. yeah so what i normally do is i'll do a wash uh, when mark puts the engine on i'll do a wash um and then i hang it all up on hangers and on the horse and my little thing with all the socks and that put it all in the bathroom ready for when we go to bed and then hang it about the boat um to dry overnight yeah the, the, yeah. the fire the fire's on all through yeah. the night i mean um, it all dries over we'll have all, all the windows open mm. clothes hanging on the rails in front of the window we've also got a couple of hooks up there and it's always all dry by the morning yeah and yeah. because we've got the windows open decent heat decent ventilation we've hardly got any condensation but it was it was a treat actually it was a treat to do the laundrette and while we're here we might even take in a little show at the uh, Royal Shakespeare Company. Show? I think he means play. Oh, right. right. <laughs> and I might just add um, that we didn't actually go and see a show or a play. I was hoping that Aladdin or Pinocchio or something was going to be on, but <laughs> apparently they don't do we that. We didn't sort of get thing. there. 
Yes, yeah, so we um, we had the pleasure of being invited onto Foxes Afloat with Colin and Sean for one of Sean's amazing chicken curries. Yeah, yeah, and Deb does a mean chicken curry, but Sean's was pretty he was, good he as was well. Up there, he was up there with me, yeah, I must yeah. admit. That was an awesome chicken curry. And he's he, I think he's covered it in one of his videos. He has a special thermal cooker, which is basically a pair of... Um, loose fitting rubber tights that he stuffs with food and <laughs> body body heat cooks the food. <laughs> it's not. What no, is it's it no, it, no, it's not. It's a, it's a therm thermal cooker. Is it? Yeah. So <laughs> you uh, Yeah, I'll I'll probably put a link in uh, the description below to one of his videos where he uh, covers this thermal cooker. A brilliant yeah, idea. Ba yeah. Basically, well, no. Watch the vid. Watch the vid. Yeah, they've uh, <laughs> spent all night on their phones after inviting us right for, di <laughs> for, di for dinner. <laughs> because the wind is blowing like crazy, the uh, the boat, because we're on the s tide on the centre line, is pulling the boat at a funny angle. So uh, what we've done is moored, got a rope from there to there. Well, Sean and Colin are now going to do the same, and hopefully. One of them is going to fall in and help my video go viral. Ah. As you, you saw from the, the little clip of Sean and Colin where they had to secure the boat to stop the boat rocking in the wind, we've done the same on our pontoon or the pontoon next to it, but we both nearly, nearly, nearly fell in. As, as Deb walked out onto it with the rope, I'm on the boat, and as Deb got out there, it started oscillating, which... I, I was, I've never been so scared so in I, my I life. So I quickly ran round, got to the end of the pontoon, and we were standing there holding each other. Both of and us. And it's worse. And it just, yeah. To the point the... where we had to both drop to our knees, but every time we went to stand up, this pontoon would oscillate again and poor old Deb had to crawl backwards on her knees, much yeah. to the amusement of an older couple on the top bar. But the pontoon is was covered in duck poo. Yes, yeah, so... It was awful. It was absolutely awful. But nobody fell in. No, but it, it was scary. It really was scary. <laughs> to move on um, it's not normally in the summer there it's two day moorings but winter mooring reels was allowed to be there for two weeks I think we had 10 12 days there mm -hmm. and uh, time for us to head back on back up the uh, Stratford and Avon canal and we headed to the premier inn to do a shop and, and get some water yeah 
and the lock that I showed in last week's video um, with the with the funny balance beam um, because we was traveling with foxes I had a little bit of help this time from Colin mistake of going shopping to Lidl at the same time as uh, Sean was there because yeah. he just runs ahead and buys everything so there wasn't a lot left <laughs> wasn't a lot left especially it was I'm, I'm just pleased I had a list because yeah, yeah, because the banter yeah the banter between us I was I was walking past everything that I was supposed to yeah. be buying so the good thing is I had a list and I managed to tick everything off management said we are allowed back but only on our own we can't go in together yeah. anymore <laughs> How's the diet going, Sean? Oh, very well. <laughs> I've lost a stone yesterday. <laughs> so, I think that covers it for this week's yeah, um, little vid. So if you like the vid, yeah, press the like button. Please, 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 if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Yeah, she got it right. <laughs> Just. Um, if you want notifications of any future videos we put up and the bell icon and you can help support our channel uh, by visiting our Patreon page yeah and your comments I love your yeah, comments yeah keep your comments coming yeah it's absolutely wonderful oh and I need to just say hello to Katie and Riley um, and their mum and dad Matt and Lucy we met those in the basin they came along in a narrow boat and moored overnight it was absolutely yeah, lovely so hello Katie Hello, Riley. And goodbye, everybody else. Yep. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>